I've had people commenting at <clears throat> my video lighting a light bulb that this is just fake and that there's no way a subwoofer could power a light bulb. So I figured I'd go over my test setup again. I have an amplifier powering this subwoofer. There's no wires inside the box running from this subwoofer over to the other subwoofer. Okay, this subwoofer is just moving air. This subwoofer is wired in series, connected directly to a light bulb. Oh, I don't even have it connected right this second, but there's no battery hidden in this. There's some metal tabs around it that do absolutely nothing. They're just part of the mounting plate for the light bulb. There's no battery hidden under this light bulb. Here, maybe I should pull it out to show that there's no battery hidden under there. Okay, well it don't want to come out. Apparently. But, there is no... Yeah, fuck it, I'll just rip it right out of this thing. Just because this is stupid. People think that this is all fake. <clears throat> there, I ripped it out of my plate for you guys. Hey, push the light bulb out. There's a little plastic piece that popped out of there. No battery. Light bulb. Oh, that's why it wasn't unscrewing. It's not a screw tape light bulb. Yep, there's no battery hidden in there. No battery hidden in there. Anywhere. Okay. The light bulb back in here. Carefully watch me. There's no battery hidden in here. Okay, no battery. I'll leave it out in the open like this so you guys can see this. Uh, just wrap this wire around here. So that should work. Stick that right in there. Bam. Alright, so you guys can see there's no battery in there. There's no battery hidden in the subwoofer. I did not cut up my subwoofer. As you can tell, it's not been hacked up. It's normal stock subwoofer. Normal coil in there. Nothing special done to it. No wires run from inside the box. Here, I better bring the camera up and do this 100%, because otherwise I'll have people saying this is fake. There's no battery hidden in here. Subwoofer's not cut up. There's no wires running from this subwoofer to this subwoofer. This is a sealed box with the center divider cut out of it. Okay? I didn't change anything over here in the meantime. Set back up. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, same thing. I even got the wires hanging out so you guys can see this. <clears throat> Good enough. So anyways, I have the amplifier on already and everything. Let's go ahead and play 50 Hertz Tone.
I'll take the other sub out too. Watch. Air pressure. See the sub moving? Yep. This is the only subwoofer hooked up. Nothing. So yeah, as you can tell, the people that are hating on this don't know what they're talking about, and yeah. So, yeah, I've had people trying to tell me that I'm powering it from my amplifier, which is completely untrue. There's no connection between these two subwoofers. No connection whatsoever. All it is, is this coil's moving upside, up and down in a magnetic field, creating voltage. And the AC voltage is coming out of here and into the light bulb to power a light bulb. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, enjoy. I'll do some more testing.